Hey folks, Logan Mills here with Dream Guitars, and I have a, uh, a very expressive instrument from Steve Klein in my hands today. This is a 1996 L457, um, dressed up with some mushroom inlays along the, uh, the neck and the headstock, and upgraded and outfitted with some beautiful Brazilian rosebud for the back and sides, and of course a uh, expansive spruce top as well. So if you are at all familiar with Klein's, then you know what I have in my hands. Um, it's a huge voice, really strong bass register, um, trebles that feel like they're an instrument all by themselves. Uh, <laughs> really cool thing. Um, this is an older example from the 90s, and it's got a slightly more uh, fuller neck profile than some of the, the more modern Klein and Kaufman's, and I like that. Uh, a little more girth for my left hand feels really comfy. Um, additionally, the voice has opened up a ton since 1996, so this thing is almost, it's getting on 30 years old now at time of recording. And I really think that all six strings are just firing in all cylinders. Um, they're really powerful, really clear. Um, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hop into it for a little bit. Uh, like I said, this is a spruce top. Um, Boy, it's such a big box. So the 457 is the biggest thing they make, um, and it is a bit of a hoss. Um, but, you know, that's one way to make uh, a really big sound, and I dare say Klein achieved that with this guitar and, and his 457s in general. So uh, there's a ton of things happening under the hood, which are very unique to Steve's designs. Um, but on the outside, I can point to this asymmetrical bridge, which adds more mass to the bass side than the treble side because of course these bass strings are pulling on the top more, so it makes sense. We also have individual saddles, so um, each string is intonated perfectly, which is always nice. And this is one of um, his alternating black and white rosettes. And we have a um, we have twin clear pick guards on this thing too, so that top is safe. Coming over to the side, we have a Florentine cutaway on this one, and the heel um, and the neck, yeah, the neck and heel are sort of. Um, incorporated into the body assembly. So this is very smooth through here. And there's a strap button here and an in-pin, so you can strap up into this guy. Um, I don't like the way that looks, frankly. It just looks good. And then coming out of the back, Brazilian rosewood. Uh, really nice Brazilian rosewood. Man, that's really pretty. There's some fun, some darker bands off to the sides. Um, and then we have some really rich red and brown um, hues throughout. It's a really, it's a very dynamic looking set. So that's just really cool. Cool. And as we come up the neck, um, I believe this is actually a rosewood neck as well. Yes. So also rosewood neck, always a good thing to see. Um, and we have gold Charlo tuners with the um, bespoke Klein headstock profile. Now along the heads, uh, headstock and uh, down the frets, we have a series um, of sprawling mushrooms uh, just to liven up the aesthetics a little bit further. And yeah, and you'll notice uh, this is one of another one of Steve's um, design features is he has an integrated nut. So rather than having a nut that's proud um, of the strings, we just have it integrated right there into the headstock joint um, and a zero fret on this guitar. So yeah. So if you want to get into a piece of Klein history, give us a shot. We'd love to chat with you. Uh, give us a shout. Cheers. Mm -hmm.